Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will discuss how do you print or return a simplest output out of the Terraform program. We will see how do you write a Terraform program and create a simplest hello world application in that. For that, I am going to use my Visual Studio code and the GitHub repository which I will be sharing for these demonstration. So here is my GitHub repository which I have cloned on my machine. The link to the repository will be shared in the description to the video. If you want, you can refer it from there. As it is our very first demonstration, so I have created a folder as the Terraform hello. To make this directory as a Terraform configuration directory, we have to create a Terraform configuration file. What is Terraform configuration file? If your directory has at least one .tf extension file, that can be called as the Terraform directory, right? So if you look at here in this particular directory, I have created four different dot Terraform directories or dot Terraform extension files. We have a zero dot single dot tf, multiple dot tf, naming convention dot tf, and with variables dot tf, right? Now to return or print a hello world statement out of the Terraform, we can use a keyword output. So output is the keyword in Terraform, which you can use. So like in C sharp, or you can use console.write or in C++, you can use a printf statement. Similarly in Terraform, to return an outcome on a console, you can use the output keyword. So it requires to use output keyword and then the name of your output instance in a double quotes it has to follow a naming convention. For example, it cannot start with any special character or number. It has to be started with the alphabet characters. I'll show you in a demonstration why. Followed by it, it needs to have the opening curly bracket on the same line. And then in the next line, you can have a value keyword followed by equal sign. And then you can assign any values here. In this case, we are assigning a string value and then in the next line or the last line basically you can assign the closing bracket now to print or to generate the outcome out of this particular file i can run the terraform console on this particular directory to open a directory on this console with the help of visual studio you can right click on the folder and you can see that open in integrated terminal or you can with the command line you can navigate to that specific directory using the cd command i can use the terraform space plan command to view the output from this output variable say hello in my terraform console or in my console window as you can see that the variable say hello is displaying the value as say hello i'll just change the value and just to make sure that we are getting the output from this particular variable only as you can see that as soon as I change the value, it's returning the value as well. Now let's look at another example from a different file. In this particular file, we have two output value declared. One is good morning and other one is how are you? Let's see that what happens if we run the Terraform plan. I'll just clear the terminal. I'll run the Terraform plan again. This time it returns three output. So the way Terraform plan works, it works on in the entire directory. So within a directory, it evaluate all the Terraform files and it search how many output or input parameters which we have defined in the entire directory in any of the Terraform file. It aggregates the output or instructions which we have configured as in Terraform configuration and then generates the output if it requires to. As you can see that we have so far at the moment in the one of the file, we have one output, which is say hello here. And then in the next file, we have two different output declared, which is good morning and how are you? So it's basically returning in total three output. Now, if you look at carefully, the outputs are returned alphabetical order. As I've given A02, A03, so that's why A02 is printed first and A03 is followed by after that. Whereas the variable name say hello 
though I was willing to print that variable at the very first instant, but unfortunately it is going to be the third because the naming convention is starting from character s, which as per the alphabetical order, it goes at the last at the last index. Now, if I change it to like this, a 0, 1, for example, in that case, let's say what should be the output we will get. Here we are getting the expected output. 0, 1 prints first, which is say hello. 0, 2 print after that. Good morning. And 0, 3 after that, which is how are you? Now, the reason why I have used A underscore alphabet, alphabet as in first, because if I use the numeric number first, and then if I try to use the print statement after that, then it will give me an error, as I'll show you a demonstration of the error as well, just to prove a point that you cannot have a numeric value to start with while declaring any output in Terraform. As you can see that we are getting an error which says that the name must start with the alphabet okay and that's the reason i have given the name as a underscore now terraform prefers to give the name of these instances with the snake case so snake case is where we are providing these underscores in between the letters or the characters so it is the preferred way to provide the snaking snake case or you can provide the kebab case as well if you wish to which i mean that you can provide the dashes as well if you want to but it is the preferred way is to use the snake case with terraform now let's look at a third, our next example by using the te terraform print with the different variables i have declared a local variable and within the local I've declared three variables, one with a decimal type, which is weight, and then the age, and then the name. And here, all these variables, I'm using it as an output. You can see that as in string, because name is a string right now, so I've given name as string, then number output, so number I'm using age, and then decimal output as the decimal. So this is how you can use the output as in you can use the variables in your output if you want to just this is just to show your demonstration how do you use the variables in your output in case if you want to return an output as in, in case if you want to you return a variable as an output i'll run the terminal again this time and let's see what is the output we get as you can see that those first three variables or the variable which were declared in the first two files and then after that these variables are the variables which we are retrieving it back from our local variables as an output this concludes the demonstration of the hello world program where we are printing our output from our terraform directory or terraform configuration I hope you have found this useful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.